Like once you decide, okay, this is going to be a business, what does that look like? So because I had owned a business prior, I knew what business, I knew how to do business. I knew that like the very basics is that you need to charge more than what is going out so that there's profit in there and then that's how you get paid. And I know, I don't mean to dumb that down, but really sometimes as photographers, we forget that because we're just getting so excited and we're having so much fun and we love it. And then what happens to kill the fun is we realize we're up all night editing and we aren't making any money and our husbands are mad at us or we're ignoring our kids and it's not helping support the family. So go back, step yes. back for just a second. Free or full price? Exactly. I've heard you say that multiple times. Yes. Let's talk no about discounting. It. Free or full price. That's it. So as you're mining for business, because again, I think there's two stages of business. There's yes. mining for business and then there's refining business. Right. So we're talking to our miners out yep. there yep. <laughs> who are just trying to, again, get that going. Yes. Um, you're suggesting just doing some things for free, portfolio building. Yes, portfolio building. And then establish a price. Put a price on what it is that you're doing. Decide, like, this is the price. And really where you figure out the price is you start with how much do I need to make? What's the income that I would like to have? And then you back it from there. How many sessions would I need to shoot at X number of dollars? And how does that work? Is that sustainable? If I need to shoot a thousand sessions in a year and you're one person, that's probably not very sustainable. Um, if you need to shoot like a hundred sessions in a year, that's probably a little bit more sustainable, but then those need to pay more money. So it's kind of just doing the math on that. Um, and then going back to building your portfolio, you can do it for free, and but I would say, I would never do it for free for somebody that could be a potential client. Maybe like whoever's blood is running through your veins, like a sibling, you know, somebody that you know is not gonna take advantage of you, um, that you can go and practice and have fun with, or somebody that's got like this really gorgeous kid. Um, and so you're building a portfolio. Now, at the same time, what's probably happening is you've been paid a little bit for something. Maybe you've done a little weekend warrior wedding or whatever, and somebody paid you a little bit. Well, if you're getting paid a little bit to do something, every time you shoot, at the end of that shoot, take a moment, think before you pack up your gear and shoot something just for you. That's maybe a little bit weird, maybe a little bit like, you're just gonna try it. Like maybe you bought a new light, maybe you bought a new lens and you just wanna try something. And so I would say, to my client, look, I'm, I wanna try something, do you mind? Can I take just five minutes and take her? Maybe this one kid is really great. Let's take her off over here and let's kind of do something really fun and interesting. You may never see these pictures because they might not even turn out, but I just am experimenting with something new. Immediately that does two things. It gets me excited about what I'm doing. It sets me up as an artist in the mind of my client because they're like, oh, she's like, legit like she's serious she wants to do this because you are legit and you are serious and you're wanting to push your craft forward and so then very important the things that you love and you want to do more of those are what you're putting on your website you're not putting every single thing like if you hate newborns do not put a newborn on your website because you think you need to be doing that because people will call and ask you to do all kinds of things and when you're beginning you just do all kinds of things. There are a lot of things that I do that I shoot that aren't on my website. That's fine. But I on my website are the is the bait that I'm fishing with. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to show. 